All right, so if you have been using Adobe Premiere Pro CC or Media Encoder lately to export your videos, then I'm guessing you might have run into the problem where your lots or your color grades are not being exported along with your final files. Don't worry, Superman is here to save you. But first, let's roll that intro. I don't know why I did that. Roll the intro though. What's going on beautiful people, I'm Gumner right here and you are definitely welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to fix the problem of Adobe Premiere Pro CC and Media Encoder not exporting your lots when you export your final files. So that is pretty crazy because they are supposed to work hand in glove and do things seamlessly. But for some reason, when you edit your projects and then you export your photos, Media Encoder doesn't pick up on your color grades and hence that has not been exported along with your final file. So I'm going to show you guys a quick walk around this or at least some steps on how you can fix this issue so you have no problem when using Media Encoder to export your files through Premiere Pro. Before we get into it, let me take this time to say welcome to the channel. If you were new on here, I would greatly appreciate it. If you go ahead and hit that subscribe button with a left hook, <laughs> you know what it is. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well so every time I put a video you are going to get notified. And if you like videos on Premiere Pro, Lightroom, filmmaking, photography, well then this is a spot for you so more reason for you to go ahead and subscribe. Um, that said, let's jump right into the computer and get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do here is to fire up Media Encoder, like so, go all the way to Preferences and then you open up this nice little dialog box right here and go to where it says Premiere Pro and then you're going to see Import Sequences Natively. So what you want to do here is you want to make sure that this box is checked off. So once you check that off, go ahead and hit OK and then you can close Media Encoder again. Okay, so here's where the form part is. You're going to go ahead and open up Finder and then you're going to locate uh, Premiere Pro which is right here, open it up and then right click and say show package contents. Once that opens up, you go inside one more time and you find Lumetri. And after you do that, you're gonna find lots, open it up as well and you're gonna see three folders in there. You have the creative, legacy and the technical folder. I want you to do the same thing for media encoder. So go ahead, open up media encoder, right click, show content package open up content and you look at Lumetri and go all the way to lots as well. So you're going to see both of these folders have identical folders. All right. So what I want you to do is to copy the content of each of these folders and drop them in the respective folders on the Adobe Media Encoder directory. So we're going to go into Premiere Pro directory, open up the creative, copy all the contents in here, move them over to the creative folder in Adobe Media Encoder. And we're going to go back, do the same thing for the legacy, copy everything, and then you drop them in the legacy folder in Adobe Media Encoder. So once you do that for those three folders, then you're good to go. You can just simply close that. And we're going to go ahead and open up Premiere Pro once more. Once that fires up, you can see I have my project right here. And now I'm going to export my project. I'm just going to click right there and hold down Control N to bring up the export dialog box. Once that opens up, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And that's going to fire up Media Encoder as well. And now you can see my project is ready to export. It's sitting right there. All I have to do is to click the green button right here, which says Start Care. And once that starts up, it's going to export with your color grades, your lots or whatever you have applied on your footage. So yes, your life has been saved. You can tag me later. No, actually, you can tag me right now. So if you found this useful, make sure you go ahead, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're facing a new one here or you like content related to filmmaking, photography and all that good stuff, Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so every time I put out videos, you're gonna get notified. I'm gonna be doing a couple more videos on Premiere Pro, so if that's something you're interested in, then it's one more reason for you to go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I guess that's it for me today, and until next time, I'll see you guys when I see you. Peace.